If you're looking for a cheaper option to enter into the AM5 experience, the A620 chipset is the one to go for. The A620 chipsets don't offer any room for CPU overclocking, but there's memory overclock present in the form of AMD Expo, which is what most users use anyway. The Gigabyte A620i AX is a budget mini-ITX motherboard that lets you enjoy the AM5 chipset and offers features that allow you to make the most out of it. When it comes to the design, it follows a grey and black theme with reasonable VRM and chipset heatsinks that also cover the M2 slot on the board. The heatsinks have a striped design in grey, along with Gigabyte branding on the bottom. That said, the board is definitely not going to win any design contests, but such things don't really matter much, especially in mini-ITX boards, since most of it's covered by your components anyway. For memory, it uses a two-dim slot configuration, with a single locking mechanism at the top. For CPU power, there's an 8-pin EPS connector present at the top left corner, along with a header for your CPU fan. In terms of VRM design, the board uses a digital 5 plus 2 plus 1 phase configuration, which is expected from an entry-level motherboard. Even though Gigabyte marketing suggests that it can even handle a Ryzen 9 7950X, that's quite a long shot. While this board may be able to support a high-end processor like this, I wouldn't recommend using it for that. For power delivery, there are 55 amp power stages for the V-Core, which should technically be enough for a processor like the Ryzen 7800 X3D. Looking at the performance metrics, this board has no Gen 5 slot. Both the PCIe x16 and M2 are based on the PCIe Gen 4 technology, which is quite fair for a board in the $100 price range. However, I would have definitely liked to see more M2 slots, since there's only one available. Support for memory speed is good, with a max speed of 6400 MHz, with a total capacity of 128GB. This has become a common configuration that's present across all motherboards now. What's not common is the network connectivity here. Along with a Realtek 2.5 Gigabit LAN chip, the Gigabyte A620i AX also comes with built-in Wi-Fi support using a Realtek Wi-Fi 6E module. In terms of USB, you get a total of 11 ports, out of which 6 are USB 3.2 and the remaining 5 are USB 2.0. Considering the VRM design, the thermal efficiency is as good as can be expected. It certainly doesn't blow off the charts, and I really wouldn't recommend using a processor that draws a lot of power for this board, but does a fine job for entry-level processors, and you can, at max, push it to processors like Ryzen 7800X with a strong cooling implementation. Anything above that would be overkill for this board. In comparison, the Gigabyte B650i AX performs even worse in thermals, even though it's a much more expensive motherboard. From a feature standpoint, both the boards basically go head-to-head, -head, with the B650i AX slightly gaining an overhead with more USB ports, but nothing groundbreaking. To summarize, the Gigabyte A620i AX is a board that will get you started with the AM5 chipset and experience, allowing you to make the most out of it with an adequate feature set and performance. To sum up, what I like is the great network connectivity and it's priced reasonably. On the downside, there's only one M2 slot and there's no Gen 5 support. Ratings. VRM design, 7.5 out of 10. Connectivity, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Features, 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10.